museum is an important part of the community and so it's our duty to do programs that benefit the community and this one definitely does with an emphasis on healing and wellness. I'm currently a meditation teacher and a mindfulness instructor but I always knew I wanted to help people in their journey to self-healing. There's a huge impact of what the sounds have on our nervous system. So I invite you all to just get into any relaxed or comfortable position, allow yourselves to be open, allow yourselves to be receptive and just enjoy the experience. are really amazing and to be honest we're just on the cutting edge of truly understanding what sound really does for the well-being of our body and mind. It did everything he said it was going to do for me. I just really liked it. It was very nice. It touches really on all like, senses of the body like your sight you get to see all this beautiful artwork while you're here. So everywhere you look there's beauty, you breathe in beauty, you're hearing beauty, it's really nice. I had a hard day at work and this was just perfect. I mean, it's awesome. I look cold for the past 10 days and my senses were blocked, my ears were blocked and guess what, I feel great now. I think they should teach do this in school even. Uh, none of us really knew what it was, and yet when we put it on the air and talked about it, listeners uh, uh, called in, they wanted tickets, and they enjoyed the experience. We're truly grateful to each and every one of you who's come out tonight. People really began to resonate with it, and so I began to offer more singing bowl classes, and then people began to do a sound bath or a sound meditation in different places all over the United States. This is a positive experience for everyone involved and especially the museum.